afternoon traders all around the world this is FX Passion broadcasting you live on YouTube on YouTube hello Akos hello Miguel hello any where is the boss <laughs> hello Victor <laughs> where is the boss yes hello Silas remember everybody we are working with the three pillars we are trying to build the strategy and or a system then we are trying to understand how risk management works and we are trying to understand how psychology works inside the strategy, inside the system and inside our risk management. Remember 90% of traders lose money in the forex market worldwide and the webinars are not investment or trading advice. The webinars are for educational purposes only. If this is your first time, we are in the intermediate module, okay? I received some emails, passion is difficult, passion I don't understand, passion why the stop loss goes above the market structure, passion, passion how do you identify highs and lows? Go back to the Ducas Copy webinar page on YouTube and watch the course, watch the, you have lesson number one from lesson number one you need to learn the basic module first everybody and you need to learn the beginner module first okay if this is your first time it's going to be difficult for you okay to deal with all the challenges and all the informations it's difficult so go back learn the basic module first learn the beginner module first and then go back into intermediate and remember everybody, I have a 20 seconds delay on the chat. So that being said, let's dive into the live market. Okay, questions. I received emails from your passion. I have a difficult time identifying the 15 minute chart. Passion, where do I start the one hour chart? Passion, when do I start the 4 hour chart? Okay. Now, this is going to be one of the difficult lessons, but still okay. I'm going to explain everybody, okay? Remember when we said that the higher time frame controls the smaller time frame, right? So, when you have a trend let's color code this in blue and something like this okay when you have a trend like this lower lows lower highs lower lows lower highs lower lows lower highs and then you have higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows where do you start the Fibonacci? where do you start you have a downtrend the market was making lower lows lower highs and then you have a trend line break and then you have a confirmed uptrend where should you start drawing your Fibonacci and the blue one could be what the 15 minute chart the one hour chart one hour two hours four hour chart right the blue one could be the 15 minute chart one hour two hour four hour chart so where do you start okay i'm going to give you two options should you start drawing your fibonacci starting from the top or should you start drawing your fibonacci starting from the bottom because what is the a the a is the starting point right starting point of a trend something is going to be the a is going to be sometimes the absolute low sometimes it's going to be the most recent low right so where should you start at the top up in here or at the bottom down in here a question mark and there is no right or wrong 
Miguel is saying passion. If two possible C points have the same height, one is close to the B and other one is just before the C the extension, which one is the correct? Miguel, it, it's very difficult to have the same height, the two C's. Okay? But if it happens, if it happens, it's the last one, Miguel. Okay? If it's going to happen that you have two C's at exactly the same point, okay, then you take the most recent one, Miguel. Okay, most recent one. But I'm telling you, it's very uncommon, very unlikely that it's going to happen. But okay, it could happen, right? So you take the last one. And Victor says we should start the Fibonacci on the 15 minute chart, on the 1 hour chart, 2 hour chart, at the bottom. I would favor the one just prior to the D extension. It's the last one. It's the most recent one. Yes, you can send me an email, no problem. So, any MHB, Miguel, and everybody else, Akos, where should you start your drawing your Fibonacci on the 15 minute chart? This could be the 15 minute chart, or the 1 hour chart, or on the 2 hour chart, or on the 4 hour chart. Victor says bottom. You can say bottom, you can say up in here, right? You can say the first one, the second one, you can say I don't know, I'm not sure. Where should we start the what, 15 minute chart, 1 hour chart? And the homework was everybody, you should have by now, if you are going to use the Fibonacci and if you want to turn from a beginner trader to a semi-professional and if you're going to use the Fibonacci Ako says stop you should have your Fibonacci from your monthly and on your weekly and on your daily chart before going to the 15 minute chart, 1 hour chart, 2 hour chart on the top when this is the end of an uptrend at onset extension okay everybody the correct answer look at this what is the a a is the starting point of a trend right so victor and somebody else who said well it's the bottom okay you are not breaking any rules because this is a starting point of a trend you have two lows and two highs right now What's the problem? Maybe this is your A, maybe not. What is the problem? You need to start from the top. Okay? Why is that? Because maybe because maybe the Fibonacci who started from the top it's not over yet. Okay? You need to start from the top. You cannot speculate to say, oh, but this is the starting point of a short-term trend. Yes, it is. And this is what we are going to learn. This is the so-called contrarian Fibonacci. But you need to start from the top, okay? Reason number one, you need to clarify and you need to confirm that the down Fibonacci is over. Because if the down Fibonacci isn't over, you are going to lose money because it's just a matter of time that the short term uptrend is going to reverse and hit the appropriate the extension of the downtrend okay this is one reason now the other reason is this what you are seeing what you are seeing is extension retracement of a larger time frame 
This is why we are telling you go back on Dukas Copy YouTube channel and watch the webinars over and over and over again. And this is why Fibonacci comes into the intermediate module. You should have learned structure by now and the market way because this is an upgrade. And if you don't know structure and the market wave, and if you don't understand this concept, you are going to draw a wrong Fibonacci in a wrong area, and then you are going to lose. And you are going to send me an email, passion Fibonacci doesn't work. It, it does work. Should the Fibonacci always be drawn in the direction of the overall structure trend? The answer is yes when you compare the higher time frame, Miguel. Good question. Great question, really. Not good, just good. It's a great question. Right? So, you can say yes when you compare the higher time frame to the lower time frame. So, let's color code this in what? Let's see. Dark green. Okay. So the green, the green is the daily, okay? The green could be the daily, it's the higher time frame. The green could be the daily, or and the blue could be the four hour chart, the two hour chart, or the green could be the one hour chart, and the blue could be the 15 minute chart, okay? And this is why you should start drawing your Fibonacci's on the smaller scale in the same direction from the starting point of your higher time frame. So this is a rule. Let's write this down. Rule. We should, we should start drawing our Fibs, our Fibonacci's starting from the starting point of the higher higher TF stands from time frame okay this is a rule take a screenshot of this write this down on the paper you need to remember and learn we should start drawing our Fibonacci's starting from the starting point of the higher time frame passion but this is too much work no it's not it's not too much work but what's the, what is the challenge here you cannot possibly have your right Fibonacci on the one hour two hour four hour chart 15 minute chart you cannot possibly have it right without the daily the week and the monthly okay this is our rule so if you are going to draw a 15 minute Fibonacci or if you're going to use the one uh, Fibonacci on the one hour chart, on the two hour chart and on the four hour chart, you must have them on the monthly, weekly and daily. Right? You cannot. I'm going to give you an example. Just give where we're going to open a new one. Euro dollar. It's happening right now. Euro dollar one hour chart. Hello MHB. Let's wait for the software. There you go. See Euro dollar one hour chart. And if you're a beginner trader and you compress this, right? You compress the chart. Where are you going to start your Fibonacci? most likely you have started your Fibonacci down in here right now just to be clear I'm not saying that this Fibonacci this up Fibonacci is not going to work because this is the so-called contrarian Fibonacci that we are going to learn right but we are learning first the original one the original Fibonacci shows and determines the overall general trend. Okay? So, if you don't know this rule that we were talking about, that you cannot possibly have the right Fibonacci on the 1 hour chart, 15 minute chart, 2 hour chart, 4 hour chart, 
without the monthly, the weekly and the daily. This is the reason, right? Oh, but this is the starting point of the trend. Yes, it is. The problem is, how do you know that the, show, that the downtrend is over, right? and remember the trick when you cannot see you go on the higher time frame so from the one hour time frame i'm going to jump on the four hour time frame see i'm starting my fibonacci down here which in reality the overall long term downtrend is down right and you can say, oh, but the market broke the downtrend line. It doesn't matter. How do you know that the Fibonacci on the daily or on the four hour chart, it's not like this. And if you're going to buy the Fibonacci on the one hour chart in here, I'm telling you, you are going, you are going to lose. If we are talking about the Fibonacci's, because you are entering against the original Fibonacci. Everybody, are we clear on this? Where should you start drawing your Fibonacci? Why should you start drawing your Fibonacci? Hands the cat out. Hands the cat out. Euro AUD out. CHFJPY out. Hands the cat out. Euro CAD out, Canada JPY out, Canada CHF out, GBP NZD out, AOD CAD. Any questions so far, everybody? Do you understand this? Why should you start when you have, let me find, not this one, not this one, there you go why you should start up in here at the top it's a rule right we should start drawing our fibonacci starting from the starting point of the higher time frame any questions okay if if there is no question tell me a currency pair that is in a downtrend If not, we are going with the NZD CAD. NZD CAD, one hour chart. NZD CAD, one hour chart. Euro CAD, Euro CAD is not in a downtrend, my friend. Euro CAD is not in a downtrend, not in a structural downtrend. Euro CAD, for the time being, is still in an uptrend, up structure, uptrend, MHB. Okay, NZD CAD, AUD CAD, great, let's go with the AUD CAD, AUD CAD, there you go. Okay, so AUD CAD, one hour chart, and if you're a beginner trader, learning the Fibonacci, and this is what you see, where are you going to start? You are going to compress the chart, right? You're going to compress the chart, where? Where are you going to start, everybody? I'm going to give you a few examples. Are you going to start up in here at the top of the one hour chart? Or are you going to start at the bottom of the one hour chart? What is the rule saying? We should start drawing our FIBs starting from the starting point of the higher time frame. So what is the answer? Passion, this is too much work. No, it's not. It's difficult in the beginning because you need to keep track of the Fibonacci's on the smaller time frames. But you are going to draw your Fibonacci's on the monthly and weekly once a year, maybe twice. The daily, you are going to adjust your daily Fibonacci's three to four times a year. So it's not too much work if you are going to. Ako says bottom, where are we going to start drawing our Fibonacci's on the one hour chart? What do you think MHB, Annie, Victor, Miguel? 
there is no right or wrong should we start our Fibonacci on the one hour chart here or should we start our Fibonacci down in here here or here where should we start bottom or top you can say bottom you can say top you can say I don't know I have no idea Akos when you say bottom are you following the rule that is saying we should start drawing our Fibonacci starting from the starting point of the higher time frame? Miguel, same question, NMHB, same question trip for you. Are you following the rule? We should start drawing our FIPS starting from the starting point of the higher time frame. So bottom or top top bottom we have to go to the four hour chart for the correct answer any is correct everybody else you are wrong okay you can if you say top you are wrong and if you say bottom you are wrong passion but you said there is no right or wrong yes there is no right or wrong answer but this is pure speculation I need to go I'm not going on the 4 hour chart but, but I'm going on the daily chart to see where is the starting point of the daily chart. Yes, monthly is the higher time frame. Akos, we are going to, uh, maybe I didn't explain enough, we should start running our FIPS starting from the point of the direct edit label, starting from the, let's use another name starting from the confirmation confirmation time frame okay now it's better so if I'm going to trade on the one hour chart I need to go on the daily chart and find where did the daily Fibonacci start yes correct MHB first we have to go to the higher time frame then we can go yes Time to shine, hello. Hi, I went back on finished whole course finally up to here so we can be in the live webinars. Congratulations to you. Go to the daily time frame. Yes, sir. Now I'm just going to open it. Hopefully I'm going to find it. Cloud, J Cloud. Let me see. Let me see AUDK daily chart. Let's open it. Okay, I'm going to delete the indicators. We are not there yet. So this is AUDK daily chart first. Okay, I'm going to delete the indicators. Delete and let me see. Okay, delete this one let's compress the chart so a b c let me see if the c has touched the blue one a b c okay so blue goes to blue right blue goes to blue so what we're going to do we are going to draw horizontal lines to help myself horizontal line on the a horizontal line on the b and i'm going to move this is the daily chart a of the cat why daily why not the monthly Akos, we learned this in the previous webinars what is the confirmation time frame and what is the trading time frame so if you are trading on the one hour chart two hour chart and four hour chart the confirmation time frame is the daily chart if you are going to trade on the daily chart the confirmation chart is the weekly and if you're going to trade on the weekly the confirmation time frame is the monthly okay now of NZD USD yes we're going to check later when we finish with AUD CAD okay Victor is asking what about if the bias is long and the structure come from top and we have a small structure the answer is just follow the rules Victor Okay, Victor, just follow the rules. So A goes to C, horizontal line, I'm going to delete the green and blue, right? Blue, 
there you go and B goes to D so I'm going to delete the weekly D extension and I have a new set of Fibonacci Fibonacci retracement there you go okay I'm going to delete the last Fibonacci which is not valid anymore so this is the latest Fibonacci on the AUD CAD daily chart see everybody if you're a beginner trader and you would start drawing your up Fibonacci you would go in the wrong direction with the original one the original Fibonacci the original Fibonacci on the daily chart is down and you can confirm this also with the waves right extension retracement extension the market wave we learned this in the first month right so before you go drawing your Fibonacci on the 15 minute chart on the one hour chart four hour chart two hour chart what does the rule say again the rule says we should start drawing our FIPS starting from the starting point of the Fibonacci of the Fibonacci Fibonacci from the confirmation time frame so if this is my confirmation time frame okay I need to start my one hour Fibonacci starting from what is the number 0 0.97663 so horizontal line edit coordinates 0. Point what 0. Point, uh, let me see 0 0.976 0 0.976 0 0.976 something right okay so I'm going to compress the chart where is the 0 0.9 where is up in here so 0 0.97663 to be exact 63 so 63 there you go we're going to draw a black color and something like this there you go we need to find the high find the high there you go and we are going to start our down Fibonacci starting from here this is our starting point okay now some of you on the other platform streaming platform are asking passion but the market is going to break our down Fibonacci and the answer is how do you know right if you don't want to do this homework there is no point of you using the Fibonacci's how do you know that the market is going to break out the one hour Fibonacci you don't know and this is why the rules because you are going to start here well this is the, the A is the starting point of the trend down in here yes it is but how do you know that the higher time frame or the same time frame how do you know that down Fibonacci is over can we start from monthly and down yes yes you everybody if you are going to use the Fibonacci on the 15 minute chart and one hour two hour four hour you must have the Fibonacci on the monthly weekly and the daily if not you cannot get right the Fibonacci sequence on the smaller time frames how comes on trading view the points are different it's because of the broker it's because of the time okay time to shine my settings preferences chart my time the time of the candles is my time is start is set to EDT UTC minus 5 so if you have different time scale you are going to have different candles okay but it also depends on the broker so you could have the same day start time as me but you could have the diff a different broker you are going to have different candles okay this is one of the reasons 
so what we are going to do everybody we are going to go here and we are going to start to draw our down Fibonacci so transparency and clone this is our A A to B right what is the A? the A is the starting point of the trend right this is going to be our A and text this is going to be our B what is the B? the B is the first low in a down Fibonacci is the first low as soon as possible after the A thank you you're welcome everybody before we move on is it clear why we start why we are starting our Fibonacci on the one hour chart up in here and not down in here is it clear everybody please tell me no if it's not clear please tell me explain again passion don't say yes if it's not clear you could have a confirmed uptrend on the one hour chart down here but we are starting our down Fibonacci on the one hour chart up in here is it clear if it's not clear please type in the chat not clear not clear and it says yes is anybody who does not agree or it's not clear <laughs> passion I don't like Fibonacci no problem you go find another tool that helps you okay time to shine says yes okay no questions A to B now C what is the C the C is the highest point not necessarily a high inside the AB boundary after the B before the market hits the appropriate D extension FIB original original okay we're going to change some colors red blue green and red goes to red there you go so A B C D A to B B to C and as you can see everybody the C and the D is the same candle right so what we're going to do we're going to move our A to the C and our B down here to the D A B C D this is the D down here A B C D right and you can keep track of the sequence A to B B to C C to D down here if you want now A goes to C Sila says ok great A goes to C and B goes to D Fibonacci retracement tool we're going to spread from A to B it's one candle now this is the C right what is the C? the C is the highest point inside the AB boundary after the B before the market hits the appropriate D extension so this is A, B, B to C, didn't hit the blue line, so the property extension is still the green, so it's going to be down here, right? The first low, when the market hit the D extension, so this is our D, A, B, C, D. What we're going to do, always the same, we're going to take our horizontal line and move A goes to C, and B goes to D down here this is the D right so we're going to remove here A goes to C this is the A C is going to be somewhere in between this is our new B and we are going to adjust our Fibonacci again horizontal tool Fibonacci retracement tool a to B right A to B now let's wait when sideways this is the C right what is the C the C is the highest point inside the AB boundary after the B on 
so here before the market hits the appropriate the extension now let me see if the C hit yes so blue goes to blue let's wait this was our D extension it's not a low so let's wait let's find the D so our low is here right this is our low this is our D again A to B B to C we're going to move the horizontal line A goes to C move the C further on and we are going to move I'm just going to cancel because I have the horizontal line already and B goes to D and D is going to be somewhere in here A, B right and we have a new sequence we're going to adjust our Fibonacci now we have the, thir the third sequence A to B there you go A to B okay so where is our C our C is question everybody where is our C okay I'm going to give you a few examples where is our C is our C the circle number one is our C the circle number two or is our C the circle number three which one is the C everybody keep going or is the C the circle number four which one is the C is the circle number one our C here on the left is the circle number two our C is the circle number three our C and or is the circle number four our C right and I'm not I'm not going tell I'm not going to tell you that there is no right or wrong because in this example there is only one is right the other three are wrong and it says number two what do you have to do when the seat tops it on side Miguel says four Victor none now of one no one it's before one yes we have one more here this is the one everybody so we have five circles one two is here three is here we have five circles everybody four and one more five so five circles which one is the C five there you go number one number three number one number one number two number three which one is the C one for me no one Ako says three Miguel says five Victor one Num everybody number one is the correct answer why because the C is the highest point inside the AB boundary after the B before the market hits the appropriate D extension so the market went up to the one and hit the appropriate D extension number one is the correct answer all the other answers are wrong number one is the correct answer you need to be careful maybe you have your Fibonacci is wrong on your charts everybody number one yes okay now number one we're going to compress the chart right okay we're going to delete 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 the circles delete the numbers delete 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 A B C D what we're going to do always the same we're going to move our A goes to C and B goes to D down here All right A B A to B right 
passion but the market reversed yes it did yes it did right the market reversed when this happens everybody what should you do should you start drawing your yes no problem MHB now as you can see the market broke our down Fibonacci what should we do should we start drawing an up Fibonacci or should we start drawing again a down Fibonacci what should we do should we start drawing an up Fibonacci everybody or and you need to learn everybody you need to learn how to think because this happens all the time on all currency pairs on all time frames okay no draw I don't know thank you any great answer structure still short yes so the correct answer is everybody if you have a down Fibonacci here then even though the market is going to break you sometimes time to time you should start with the down Fibonacci down Fibonacci down Fibonacci okay yes and of course there is a learning curve before you can spatially see so the market stopped us out in here and as you can see the market is going to stop us out two times two more times the market is going to stop us out two more times so we were stopped out in here this was the small Fibonacci let's call this in what okay and let's call this like this so the one hour Fibonacci is the white the yellow the orange the black the pink 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 right this is our Fibonacci on the one hour chart and as you can see we are going to start drawing a down Fibonacci again but the market is going to stop us out three more times if A touched or break we have to go in the trend with new Fibo no if the A just touched the sequence continues the market must break the A MHB if it touches 0 goes to 100 it must break the A okay so as you can see everybody the market stopped us out one time but even though we are going to draw a down Fibonacci the market is going to stop us out two more times can you see this I'm showing you this because for us not to waste more time okay when you practice the market is going to stop you out right so you start again from the starting point of the downtrend right where is the starting point of the downtrend up in here okay but even though even you start there let me see if I can compress so this starting point when you are learning you just practice 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 but as you can see the market is going to stop us out here again before it falls down right so just because of this for us not to waste any time we are going to start our new down Fibonacci from the here this is going to be our starting point from the one hour chart okay but when you train yourself just go draw your Fibonacci the market is going to stop you out one more time draw your down Fibonacci again the market is going to stop you out one more time draw your down Fibonacci again okay the market does this sometimes so this is the new starting point of a downtrend for us so this is going to be the A up in here what is the A? the A is the starting point of the trend of a trend what is the B? the B is the first low as soon as possible after the A and 
color code, edit levels, original one, there you go. And as you can see everybody, the mark has stopped us out already. A to B, right? C to D. So we are going to draw another sequence. A to B, right? A to B, this is our C, this is our C, and our D extension must be a low, this is our D. Okay, now I'm going to move my horizontal lines, A to B, right, this is the A, this is the A, this is the C, our B is down here, A to B, right? Market stop, uh, stopped us out in here, right? So what we're going to do? We're going to start again. A down Fibonacci, this is our A. What is the A? The A is the starting point of a downtrend. What is the B? The B is the first low as soon as possible after the A. So this is the B. Fibonacci retracement tool. A to B, there you go. Passion, can A and B be the same candle? Some, sometimes yes, but not in this case. When you can find the sequence, okay, you take the other low or the other high. A to B, B to C, C to D must be a low. There you go, this is the C, this is going to be the new A, horizontal line, this is our D extension, this is the new B, so Fibonacci retracement tool, A to B, three more minutes, let's try to finish this, A to B, A to B, where is, this is the C, green goes to green, horizontal lines, this is the new A, this is the new B, right, C is somewhere in here, this is our B, and this is our A, A to B, green goes to green, let's compress the chart, A goes to C, B goes to D, and we have a new Fibonacci sequence, let's adjust, this is our new A, this is our new C, A goes to C, C is somewhere in here, this is our B, our D somewhere. Why did A stop us out there? Because 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 A to B, B to C, C to D because this high is higher than the new high can you see time to shine? why we were stopped out? this was the new A ok, thank you because of lower time frames a lot of noise yes lower time frames has a lot of noise okay a b c d a b c d what's the time one more minute let me see if we can finish green h b and again green goes to green one more minute, let me see, this is the new green, must be a low, this is not quite, I need to check, must be a low, is this a low, yes it is, ok, now let me see, let's compress the chart, and, ok, we have one more minute, I'm just going to do swiftly, ok, the Fibonacci is just to check, a, B, C, D, let me see if this is a low, yes, my Fibonacci is wrong, so it goes up in here, and let me see if the market hit, 
no okay there you go everybody so as you can see we the down Fibonacci this is the correct original Fibonacci on AUD CAD one hour chart AUD CAD one hour chart A is at 0.92466 and the B is at 0 0.89690 so even though the market is making higher highs, higher lows, right? Now it's making lower lows, most likely lower highs. We are still in a down original Fibonacci on AUD CAD one hour chart. And this is why before you draw an up Fibonacci up in here, you should go by the rule. We should start drawing our Fibonacci starting from the starting point of the Fibonacci from the confirmation time frame ok everybody see you back tomorrow stay strong and enjoy the passion and follow the rules <laughs> this is FX Passion signing off